folks, it's me again, Miss Harold. I'm going to show you one more thing about using Delta Math. Here is a combining like terms um, module that requires the use of being able to enter exponents. I don't know if you notice down here in the answer box, this grayed out answer box, there's this keyboard looking icon. I'm going to click on that. When you combine like terms, remember you're looking for things that are similar, um, that are exactly the same uh, variables and exponents, or are constant terms. You also have to remember that the constant terms and any variable terms, the sign that's in front of it goes with the variable or the term after it. So for example, this is a two, positive two. The negative goes, or this minus sign goes with the x squared as a, a negative sign, really, because it's like adding a negative x squared. So I'm going to look for my constants first, just to get those out of the way. Two, not a negative three, that would be negative one if I combine those. So I'm at negative one, and then here's a negative six. So that's negative seven. You just use a minus sign for a negative. See, they really are kind of the same. Next, I'm going to look for my x squared terms. This is a negative x squared. Do you remember what the coefficient would be in there? Right, it would be a 1. So negative 1x squared minus 2x squared would be negative 3x squared. Then I have negative 6x squared, so that's negative 9x squared. So I'm going to put in minus 9. I'm going to use the variable x, and I want it to be squared, so I'm going to use this key right here that says a squared. That will put an exponent of 2. Next, I have my y squared. So I think there was only one right here, so that's going to be a minus 7y squared. Let's see if it's right. Yay, I did it right. And it will walk you through it, and I love the color coding on here to help you out. Good luck.